Hi everyone, welcome to our presentation about SketchUp and um, Trimble Connect. My name is Bakhtiar Memek. I'm Implementation Manager by Digibase, a part of Volkwessels. And behind me is... Daphne Vonder, I'm an engineer at Digibase. First, I want to start with uh, the introduction of uh, Volkwessels. Our company is one of the biggest construction and real estate development companies of the Netherlands. Except uh, construction and real estate development, we are also uh, operating in civil construction and uh, tele telecom infrastructure. And not only in the Netherlands, but also in uh, Belgium, Germany, Canada, USA and uh, England. Um, we have uh, 25 thousand projects per year and 17,000 colleagues. So that is who is Volker Wessels and who is uh, Digibase. Digibase is the uh, digitization center of uh, Volker Wessels. Uh, our goal is uh, supporting our colleagues of construction and real estate companies with their um, digitization cases, actually the digital transition. We are doing that from um, three business units. First business unit is uh, business uh, support. And the goal of business support is supporting our colleagues with um, uh, using a software and a implementation software and um, ensuring the basic standards. And um, we have also project support and Daphne is a member of project support. Our team helps the Volker Wessels construction and real estate department with uh, making digital engineering models for the project. Right, thank you. And at last, um, a business uh, development and innovation uh, business unit. Um, from this uh, business unit, our colleagues are busy uh, daily with um, improving our uh, processes and workflows with creating new software or, or uh, plugins um, uh, to make our uh, work better or easier. We have prepared three topics. Uh, first, I want to start with a um, a movie about um, why we uh, choose for a project management system and um, why uh, it, it is necessary for us and why we are using SketchUp. Uh, the next topic is um, uh, we will show you a few cases about um, how we um, uh, use SketchUp and um, Trimble Connect. The last topic is how we can um, generate structured data in um, uh, SketchUp and how we support our suppliers and why it is necessary to us to generate structured data. The first one is uh, the question why and I have a movie for this and I will show you uh, first this movie. At this point it is impossible to keep the continuously growing bulk of information up to date. Unstructured information and communication channels have created a blur. We send each other countless emails, we transfer messages, DVDs and USB sticks, or share project information in the cloud via programs like OneDrive, Project Place, Shapu, DocStream, or Ed Controls. Moreover, the full extent of our project information sits in different locations. We work with piles of paper, personal notebooks, and thousands of separate digital files, ranging from bulging drawer cabinets at the office and construction site to our email inboxes, company hard drives, and archive boxes at large-scale archive spaces. We run a significant risk of working with incorrect data. And due to the explosive growth of data, this risk is only increasing. Therefore, it is essential to get a grip on our project information and maintain it in order to effectively manage our projects. To achieve this, we must not only become the best developers and general contractors, but also the best information managers of the construction and real estate sector. Collaboration based on a single, integral and consistent source of information, as has been the norm in other sectors for years, is the foundation for success. This is why Volker Vessels decided to invest in a single project management system for all companies of Volker Vessels building and property development. Because the project management system is not simply a new software tool, but a fully-fledged information system, we chose to enter into a strategic partnership with Trimble. Trimble is an American-quoted technology company that operates globally and develops innovative software for the construction and real estate sector. In this part, uh, we prepared a few cases. Uh, and um, um, first, I want to start with Trimble Connect. Trimble Connect is a platform uh, to, to manage your data. 
uh, but uh, you can manage your data in many software uh, platforms or software products. The power of Trimble Connect is mainly visible in um, the 3D viewer. From here you can um, view your models and um, also prepared or created in SketchUp. Uh, you can enrich these models and you can share um, information with your stakeholders. Uh, we have prepared a case. Uh, we received this from our um, colleague uh, of Sam and Koning, um, a part of Volker Wessels in Eindhoven. They are busy with this uh, project at now. And uh, it is not always the case that we get uh, 3D information from our suppliers. In this case, uh, has the work planner created uh, his own uh, models, 3D models, for the equipment and the formwork um, to check the quantities and use uh, this model and the data for, uh, by example, um, 4D plannings, uh, time schedules. So this is the SketchUp model um, uh, with the formwork and uh, the equipment for creating your slabs. And uh, when you generate a geometry um, and you provide the geometry of data, you can use this for many goals. So in the next topic, we will show you how, you, how we can create that from SketchUp. But if I click uh, on this uh, column, so if I click on this uh, column, I um, can check, uh, check the IFC properties with the IFC manager and I uh, can see the, uh, the, the, the uh, classification and um, the material, the name, and I can use this information in other software like uh, Timble uh, to check, it, check the, the, the quantities and create plannings. This data is also used for creating plannings. And um, this is the example of um, uh, of a 4D planning, actually a um, time schedules in this 4D planning software. And in this case was a work planner um, um, checking the, um, the, the equipment when I need uh, the most of my equipment and when I can send it back to our, to our suppliers to, to save uh, space on my uh, construction site, but also save money. So this is how we use SketchUp and Trimble. Uh, in, in our daily work and now we will um, explain you why it is necessary to create um, structured data. Daphne. Yes, Volker Wessels used two documents to clearly divide the responsibilities within a project team and a project. The BIM protocol which intended for project specific contract agreements and the second one is the BIM implementation plan in which the project team records the mutual uh, BIM working flow, the level of detail of the uh, model, yes. and the model structure. The view of Volker Wessels, and according to the Open BIM uh, principle, has every project, project partner a free choice of modeling software, but the models must always be exchanged by IFC, and the model must have the IDM structure. So the BIM basic IDM is a manual used in the Netherlands that describes how models must be structured and which information must be filled in in the model and in the used objects. Now I want to show you how we uh, can uh, generate structured data from uh, SketchUp. First I want to uh, present you uh, Jan Brouwer. He's a colleague uh, uh, by Digibase. He is a 3D uh, data uh, expert and he has created a plugin in uh, SketchUp, a builder plugin in SketchUp uh, uh, called um, IFC Manager. And uh, this IFC Manager um, helps us to create um, valuable structured data from SketchUp to use that in many different, or use that for many different goals. In this topic, I want to show you how you, you can use this IFC manager. All right, um, first I want to start to show you um, the IFC manager plugin. The buttons, the first button is the paint properties to clone actually the um, properties of one geometry to another geometry. And the second um, button is the settings and you can't um, uh, choose for 
a, a classification system, the Dutch one, and also the German one. Uh, we have at this moment two um, classification systems and after that you can choose for a few export settings. What do you want to see by your export? And do you want to see the default materials or the common properties? If you are ready, you click on a save button and the next button is for importing IFC uh, models. As you know, you can import IFC models from file and uh, import models. But there's a difference between uh, the normal way of importing IFC models and this button. And I want to show you that. If you um, import uh, from the normal IFC uh, importing, you always... Um, you never get uh, the layer structure from the IFC model. And if you click on view and hidden geometry, you always see three angles. And um, if you uh, open or import this model from the um, IFC import button in the IFC manager, uh, you will see now the difference. Um, you get the IFC uh, layers in your layer structure so you are able to um, uh, uh, able and disable this uh, different layers and if you click on view and hidden geometry the triangles are automatically erased so if you want to edit this uh, balcony so you can uh, click on this balcony and you can edit this uh, without uh, getting the the triangles in your model so this is the difference between a uh, normal way and uh, this way of importing IFC uh, models. Now I want to show you how you can use this um, plugin. For this case, I uh, draw a slab or model a slab. After clicking on this slab, uh, uh, you can click on your right, right uh, mouse button and you get four more options um, like create building element, create building, uh, sorry, create building story, create building and create site. And first I want to create an element. So I click on create building element and I got this um, pop-up with the IFC properties. First I select the IFC entity. This is slab in this case, IFC slab. The second one is the Dutch um, classification uh, system. In the Netherlands uh, is this 23. And, uh, and then uh, Fluren in Dutch. And the name of this element, I call this floor. Material is uh, in Dutch is concrete beton. So, and I can add a layer and the layer is floors. I click on OK. You can find out in the outliner this um, um, created uh, um, component. So now I want to create uh, different levels. So I copy this one above two times. All right. Now I want to provide it um, of, of stories and how I can do that. Right mouse click on this first element and I click on create building story. And I call this story zero zero enter the second story is zero one and the um, the third story is second two right now i see in the in the outliner the uh, stories and the elements in these stories now i want to create a building so I select these three slabs, right mouse click, create a building. And I call this building, uh, building A. Right? This hierarchy um, you uh, see also in um, the IFC export. You can manage this hierarchy, by example, in Trimble or in another uh, model checking software. So um, at last, you can also um, choose for uh, create a site. If you also um, create a, a site model, you can choose for this last one. And this site, um, I call this project uh, A. Project A. And 
also in the outliner you will um, find this um, site name back in the hierarchy. So this is the way how we can provide geometry of data and how we can uh, export these models actually with this button, this is the last button. We recommend to use this button, this IFC export button to um, export your IFC models because there is a difference between the normal way of export and this way and I will ask you to find out what is the difference. So this is our uh, presentation. Uh, thank you for your uh, attention and if you have questions you can ask them now. All right. Thank you. Thank you.